shared zone for vehicles and interpretive dance. Today we're visiting Scenic World, which is a popular destination here in Katoomba. They have a cable car that goes over a gorge, which I'm not going on. They have another cable car that goes down into the rainforest, which I'm not going on. And they have a scenic railway, which is the steepest railway in the world, which I'm not going on. So we're just gonna look at things from above and be boring. First we're gonna try, wait, no, I'm not going on that Skyway thing. I'll meet you on the other side. Okay, I'm here. Ugh, oh, that was way further than I thought it would be. From the Skyway Station, there's a short walk down this path toward the Katoomba Waterfall. So let's go check that out. This is the Katoomba Cascades, a small waterfall fed by the Katoomba River. If you visit after a good rain, the rocks disappear behind rushing water. But it's still beautiful no matter when you visit. And it's a permanent waterfall, so it never runs dry. And there's something to see that's even grander if you... We're doing what now? Currently I'm going on the scenic skyway. Not by choice, it's my producers forcing me, so... Oh no, here we go. Here we go. Uh... Oh boy, they opened the windows. Katoomba Falls, plunging 800 feet into the gorge. And we're even higher than that. The Skyway soars 885 feet above the valley. But you can hardly tell if you don't look down. What do you mean, glass floor? No, thank you. We'll be docking into level 300 of the Skyway, of course, guys. I'll get you to exit. That wasn't so bad. Next up, we'll see... <laughs> You're joking, right? So here we are at the Scenic Railway. It's the world's steepest railway. And apparently, I'm going on it. And I'm not happy about that. There's no seat belts on this thing. Oh boy. Oh my bark. I thought this was gonna be slow. The scenic railway is on a 52 degree slope and goes a thousand feet down a cliff. It was originally built to serve a coal mine. Now it serves up amazing views with a side of sheer terror. I did not expect that. These are the controls. I'm surprised there's no button labeled make scarier. Yeah, they're going up backwards. So now that we're down here, what do we do? This is the scenic walkway. It's an elevated boardwalk that weaves through the rainforest, giving you up-close views of the plants and animals that live here with minimal impact on the environment. And if you thought the view from the top was great, I mean, down here, 
you really get the sense of scale. Man, this Pizza Hut has seen better days. People working the coal mine used to live in cabins like this one. You know, in California, this place would rent for two grand a month. But remember that the ways back up close 15 minutes before Scenic World does, so... Make sure they don't leave you behind. So of course, the only way to get back out of the rainforest is to go way up high again. But I'm not going back on that railway thing. No way, I'm not going backwards up that scary thing. So, we're gonna take the cable car that goes up sideways and uh, hope we don't uh, get scared like we did before. But, uh, yeah, we'll see. Here we go. I swear after this I'm not doing anything high up anymore on this trip. Goodbye, ground! This one's called the Scenic Cableway, and it's the kinder, gentler, more accessible route to and from the rainforest. You know, I'm almost getting used to those. But not really. So that does it for Scenic World. I know I got over a few fears today and fired my producer, so all good things. I'm glad I'm not that bored. We know that Australia is over here, but it wasn't always there and it won't be in the future, thanks to continental drift. Millions of years ago, most of the land on Earth was in one giant lump called Pangaea. Over time, the different continents scattered like a bunch of kids who just hit a ball through your window. Australia was part of this landmass that moved south. Then around 90 million years ago, it split. Most of it moved south to become Antarctica, and the rest moved north to become Australia and the surrounding islands. And it's still going. Australia is the fastest continent in the world, moving nearly three inches north every year. And eventually, millions of years from now, it'll smoosh into Asia as the continents come together once again to form another supercontinent, which I hope they call Pancakia. Why not? Everybody loves pancakes. Pancakia.